big decision here. This is a these are the ones that are nightmares of captain. You know, do you go for a three? Do you go for the scrum? Which you know, has the scrum and lineup been great? They, it looks like they're going to go for it. Well, you live and die by these calls. They're all going for it together. There's no right or wrong. If this goes over, it's the right decision. It's so easy with hindsight. But the players, the only ones that really know, they got a feel on the pitch how the line out was going. Do they feel dominant in the mall? Do they feel dominant in their carry? Massive call. Bautista Del Gui is on. And into full on defensive mode. As Lousy conspires and Tui Palotu conspires and Evans concentrates on this throw. Little shift drive. Changing the point of contact, and once again, it's Morgan Jones. Once again, that close. Hardy, Oof, to Ipolotu, away, one-handed, try! Ryan Combeer, this place goes mad. And the biggest kick of the season is a minute or so away. All square in the quarter-final. Conversion to come. Oh, there was so much good in that set of play, Nick. Claremont stayed down, they wanted to hit the ball. They weren't going up in the air, they did a very clever shift drive and Tui Pilatu. Great in the contact, great opera. And Combi, who I think has been such a good player for so many years for the Scarlets, hugely underrated player. Massive amount of power, but they come back to the blind side. Claremont, they shoot out the line and Compia one on one. He's a deceptively explosive man. What a finish from him. But really good work for the forwards initially at that lineup. Now then. Now then. Oh, he might have done it. He might have done it. Between the saucepans. Maybe heading to the semi-final for the first time in their history. I've been here a few times, Nick. I had to see my headphones off. This is the loudest I've heard. Parker Scarlett's what a phenomenal atmosphere here. Crowd are literally all on their feet. Three minutes to go. Three minutes between Scarlet's and the place in the last four of this Challenge Cup for the first time ever. Three times beaten in the quarterfinals. Maybe tonight. What a kick that was from Costello. Here goes Delgi. He is such a threat. Argentinian international. Oh, and Lee. Single-handedly has carried this Claremont side forwards, and it's brilliant work at the breakdown. And McLeod, the captain, comes Don't away with it. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Seven on his feet. Slightly, slightly isolated. For it. Couple of huge turnovers from Josh McLeod over the last few minutes. Oh, how good has Josh McLeod been this second half? He's only got two Welsh caps to his name. If one for injury, he'd have a heck of a lot more. Supreme athlete at the breakdown. Worked so hard to get in position, but that is a massive moment. All these moments in the last two minutes with a game like this, whether it's your box kick, box kick accuracy, your kick chase, your clean out, your discipline at breakdown defence, it's got to be squeaky clean. It's a really brave decision for Josh McLeod to go in for that ball, because if he, if he gets that wrong, Claremont get a shot at goal 35 yards out, but he gets it. And there's that player, the Matt Sam Costello. He's been brilliant in attack. He's fronted up really well in defence, which has been a couple of question marks about his game. No question about his kicking at the moment. His conversion, nerveless conversion. Scarlet's two points ahead, a minute to go. Line out, snaffled. Game management, Sam. Game management. What? No, no. Yeah, emotions at this moment in the game. You know, it's easy to get carried away. You need to remain calm, composed, see the job in black and white, and just do it ruthlessly to the best of your ability. Hardy. No, no, Fritz! 
Oh, Fritz Lee's come in. And he was warned by Wayne Barnes and he gave it up. And Sean Evans for the Scarlets. Arrive up! Arrive up! McLeod, what a job he's done tonight. A word for Claremont, who have played so well after the red card. But it looks as if they will just pitch up short. Scarlet's penalty, it's all over. will be coming back towards the end of April, I think the weekend of the 30th. What a what an atmosphere. This crowd has been phenomenal tonight. But ultimately, in the last 10 minutes, where the Scarlets had the most composure, started from that breakout, that turnover, and Joe and Nicholas broke out. They managed to get some good territory from there. In the last 10 minutes, they were the most clinical of the both teams. Claremont did an almighty fight with a man down. They did so well to come back and get the physical dominance they needed to get back in the game. But the Scarlet has just turned the screw in the last 10 minutes. So this is the best atmosphere I've seen at this stadium for a long, long time. 